Tanaka is a branch manager at UNISC International, a Japanese organization that seeks to empower students to take action to meet the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. As a member of YoungGo, a collective of youth-led organizations and individuals working with the UN to act on climate change, he advocates for action on climate change and our environment, both in Japan and across the world. He is here today to discuss how businesses, policymakers, and organizations can engage with youth to ensure we have clean water and sanitation now and into the future. Hello, this is Jin Taka, and I'm also the branch manager of the UNIS International, and I'm going to start talking about the youth engagement and innovations for the water conservation. So here are the five agendas I'm going to explain. So here is now current situations and programs and youth engagement in the waters and water sectors in collaboration. And as a current situation in the water conservation for the use, yeah, most of the water resources was occupied by the government and companies. And most of the water resources, especially for the uh, rivers in the Asia Pacific countries, as a face in danger by the pollution, uh, by the leak, uh, leaking to the, some of the, the chemicals and the petrols and so on by the companies. And there's no regulations for the to stop to or to suppress to the, these activities and the, these uh, pollutions by the government because there's no legal frameworks. And many of the, the citizens uh, suffer from the water resources, like with reference to the taking up to the, some dirty waters, non dirty waters, uh, which combine with some of the chemicals and mercury uh, and so on. And so most of the requests I need to show the examples for the in the Thailand, uh, the some of the lakes. And Mekong rivers are facing in dangers, and in the steepers also facing in dangers for some of the chemicals and some pollution. And most of the uh, citizens who drink to the these uh, these waters comes from the rivers, uh, about to the, the about to the forty and fifty, and they go to some uh, huge illness and sick, sick illness and get uh, some uh, pathogens that divide themselves due to the, some bad in, uh, bad insufficient uh, medical care and uh, and pollution. Here is uh, showing up to the to the one map, one map maps. Can you see me? Okay, so this is uh, the uh, old as uh, modern groundwater through so our the ground and uh, how deep it is. And most, as you can see, uh, here the most of the all areas were covered by the the waters at, at least to the less than one meters and greater than fifty meters from far. And but as you can see, that most of the groundwater was pulled for the less than one meters and or at least one to fifty meters. It means that the, we do not have enough water resources around the world, any of the places, even in my country, Japan, and even in the Asia Pacific. So we have to focus more about the situation for the water resources at this. And most of the water was was dig by the, the companies and the government. So the water is strongly related to, the, to the, some political issues, more stronger than the climate change ones. And I'm going to show the examples. So this is, the, uh, this is the, the, some example for the legal framework. Likewise to the, uh, the this one show, uh, showing up to the first Mekong Republic or the Korea summit, mentioning about the, some uh, management of the, the Mekong rivers, but uh, just only to the Thailand, uh, Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Sri Lanka, and some of the companies can, uh, so the country member states took part into this conference, but China denied to attend, so they could not manage to the conclude for the, the, the some uh, integrated management and integrated regulations for the Mekong rivers. Unfortunately, they could not. And also, uh, just uh, just two months ago, we uh, the, in Japan, they host the fourth Asia Pacific Water Summit, strongly mentioning about the to the oceans and the waters and the, the, the river management, but most of the legal frameworks has a huge barriers, like the legal barriers and financial barriers for the global south and global north. And most of the, comp uh, the countries is strongly focused on to, the, to dig into the, the ground waters, but they could not do the anything anymore. And also the mentioning about to the sanitation as well. As you can see, to the the we can tap doing taps the uh, we can drink the taps of waters uh, from the Japan and uh, some and some severe countries can do it, but most of the country cannot do it. 
because of the issue for the sanitation, and we have to improve it. And so we hosted to the, these two conferences so far in these years, like the ninth, uh, ninth World Water Forums, uh, Dakar 2022 as uh, March, uh, yeah, this year March, and this April we also hosted the first Asia Pacific Water Summit. But these even the, these two international conferences are uh, hosted by the, the main by state, but they could not concur for the, the youth engagement and all any other stakeholders for the water sanitation. And I'm going to uh, strongly connect to the problems. So there are three problems so far for the youth engagement and innovation. First, lack of resources or the information to take actions. Most of the youth had already got the main information and research issues and research research for the climate change, and they can take actions and propose to some scientific-based proposals and countermeasures to the member states, and they can deliver to the, to the issues what they can take to do and what they can contribute. And many of the members make, make some protests, I mean, not an aggressive protests, and try to deliver to the decision makers to the, their, their thinking. But Whereas the water sections, they do not have the enough enough information. Uh, like I said, how can they sanitate the water? How can they uh, contribute to the sanitized water for to provide to the all citizens? And so they do not have the, some uh, barriers for the legal barriers and financial barriers. So they cannot. Most of the youth has uh, less engagement for the youth participation because they do not have the, the, any political powers, capitals, and finance and legals and research topics. So they could, so most of the youth would like to do the take some take action, we like to either to the take the, the, some of the movement in the local areas to provide the, some sanitized water for all citizens to improve the, the social improvement. But most of the countries are facing to, uh, could not get the access to the information for the research topics and the resource for the, the uh, rivers management and the groundwater management. So low engagement for the for the youth participants compared to the, any other environmental issues, climate change, energy, and so on. And this connection is most important. This connection of the, the language of any other sectors, like the companies, research institutions, government, because most of the, 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 they strongly focus on to the, how they can provide to the workers and how they can provide and to, for the usage for the, the urban areas and rural areas. So they do not have the, some uh, interest with uh, some connection and get a, uh, get a cooperate with the youth. So that's why the three issues have been coming up so far. And we also try to address to the, to the, these issues to the, these past two conferences in Asia and Dakar, but they, we could not. Do. So we have to improve to the, this issue. So yes, I'm going to use the conclusive of the problems. Information barriers. We cannot get the, the, most of the use in Asia Pacific countries and in the Africa, they cannot get the, some information currently the, what they're facing and what the problems and what they can contribute for the other barriers. Uh, second barrier is legal barriers. Most of the, as I mentioned, the, most of the water resources occupied by the, the government and or companies. So it's extremely hard to, uh, to go get through to the, the legal issues and try to get overcome to the how they can contribute with the sanitation or take the time away for the any garbage or something like that. And third one is financial barriers. As you know, the, here's the, the just bottle of the water to create. We have to uh, we have to the, the setting up the factories or we have to the, introduce the, some of the machines to uh, to get the clean waters. But it's going to be hard for the, all the views to get to the, these um, these machines is getting the finance and chapters. So kind of use engagement for the water conservation is advocacy and diverse interventions to the decision makers directly with holding to the, the side event or sub event or some related event on online or in the protest or connect with any other organizations. And local uh, takes uh, some local actions with local government and civil societies with researchers. We uh, getting some get up some communications and uh, some mutual understanding and mutual dialogues and try to exchange the, as many information as they can. And also, uh, there are three accesses and three solving. First, tech innovations to collect all garbage. Likewise, as I show, is that this is plastic, and most of this plastic was floating into the river and the oceans. And many other sectors and the government do, do not have any other solution to collect the, these garbages once they float into on the oceans. But uh, some of the youth now they innovate into the, some of the collect the old garbage with getting through the some innovation machines and try to get the captures with uh, setting up the company. 
Second is frameworking. Frameworking for the stakeholders' movement. As you know, that, uh, as I mentioned to that some of the legal actions and local actions, like I said, make only reverse ones, industry reverse ones, donor reverse ones, they have already have some committee. Um, but most of the committee was made by the state, the member states, but they could not work anymore. So stakeholders made the similar ones for the, the focusing about the, the, these local actions by the company to change. And we also, the most of the youth, it gets involved into the, these uh, local framework actions uh, to address into the water sanitation by using to the, the human powers and the, and some technologies with the cooperation with the, the company. Uh, third one is collective action for the youth participation with researchers, like with Tankyo Cafe. In my country, we also take some actions for the with the national institutions for the environmental studies for mutual understanding to provide to the more information and research research as well, as many as we can in the Asia Pacific countries. And that time we do the Tankyo Cafe kind of all the some of the method for the mutual understanding with using to the dialogue and provide to the more as many ocean uh, some oceans and water information and uh, we also get uh, some feedback how to, how what we can improve to uh, to eat to be the more accessible for the in of the information to be access to the information values and also uh, some of the youth uh, international in, uh, organization i'm going to show two organizations first world youth parliament water and also the member of the asia pacific Division of the world youth parliament for water and attend to the, the general assembly so this year march 16 and 25th senegal dakar is strongly related onto the to the uh, World, nice water, World Water Forum in Dakar. And just time we also start setting up to some declarations for us to uh, talking about to the water sanitation and the accessibility for the, the underground with technology. And also, I'm also the member of the Swiss Water Partnership Youth. It's going to be held to the just three days later. We're going to have the general assembly and that we're going to address into the government, especially for the EU Commission. We've collaborated with uh, some of the SW Youth uh, Swiss Water Partnership members and stay involved with sort of some of the youth projects. Now, so far, we have some of the youth projects for the focusing and the addressing to the Asia Pacific countries and for, 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 for addressing to some grassroots issues and Donald River issues. Most of the, the rivers and the water resources was managed by the government, but they do not have any accessibility and space for the youth engagement. So we, we also are trying to support addressing to the, some of the space for the, some of the six areas to for the youth innovation areas for the try to improving or try to try out make some, some trials for the introducing some technologies with using the robots or IT or drones or something like that. So I'm going to conclude this. So youth engagement for the water conservation is strongly connected to the, the summary of the water sanitation, but no idea to take the actions in most of the countries like uh, Asia and Africa and Oceania and so on. Uh, second one is the lack of the resources to cooperate with the company and researchers. But they, now we're going to try to improve to the, these situations. And tech and social innovation by the youth engagement for the SDGs is now improving. And so most of some of the countries like the Laos, Thailand, Switzerland, uh, try to get some cultural information or case studies and to uh, introduce into the, the government legal framework to break through to the legal barriers. So here are the contacts and I'm going to move to the Q&A sessions. Thank you, thank you for listening.